At the Ashia Air Base in Japan during the battle for Seoul, the 187th Airborne Regiment arrives from the United States. Ammunition and other supplies are loaded on unit vehicles which will be flown to Korea. The paratroopers, 2,400 strong, board C-54 transports and C-119 flying boxcars for their flight to the combat zone. Kimpo Airfield is the destination. The paratroopers are rushed to staging areas as fast as they unload. The same C-54s fly wounded back to Japan. In its first four days of operation, the Kimpo airlift evacuated 313 wounded to Japan. Cargo and passenger planes are coming into Kempo at a rate of one every 10 minutes. Typical cargo is this disassembled 280-ton bridge. These ponton boats are part of the bridge, which was shipped entirely by air. The airfield is inspected by Air Force leaders past and present. In the group are General George C. Kenney, Commanding General, Air University, Lieutenant General George C. Stratemeyer, Commanding General, U.S. Far East Air Forces, and General Carl Spotts, retired, former commander of the U.S. Air Force. In the background is a captured Yak fighter plane found in good condition. Now land-based at Kimpo are Marine carrier planes aiding in the tactical support of ground forces north of Seoul. This F-7F Tiger Cat night fighter proves especially valuable during this stage of the fighting north of Seoul. F-7Fs are equipped with radar and are very effective against convoys and troop concentrations at night and in bad weather. These Tiger Cats and Corsairs are being loaded with 5-inch rockets for a strike near Seoul. <laughs> 